Here with Taylor River Good. Farm. How are you guys doing? We're well. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good. Introduce yourselves. I'm Richard Boulay. Sarah Gove. Kristen Logan. Okay. And uh, what do you do with Taylor River? Uh, Richard, Richard, you're a trainer. How long have you been a trainer? I've actually been a trainer since probably 1978. 1978. Okay. Yes. Sarah. I am uh, pushing 20 years. I'm 20 not years. Sure exactly where the line started, but pushing 20. Yep. Kristen? Uh, we don't need to talk about the years. <laughs> okay. Um, All your life? I, I, yes. Long and you're 21, time, right? And, um, 31 this okay. year. 31 this year. <laughs> uh, and I have been heading up the academy program at Taylor River since we opened in 2004. So let's start there. Academy program. You guys take older show horses off the uh, circuit. Yes. And they range in age from 15 to 25, 30. Yes, they do. Yep. Yep. And, um, Tell us about academy shows. These happen in the winter? The academy shows happen all winter. They also happen at the horse shows now. Um, and everywhere from even regional horse shows are starting to have championships for academy now. And these are teaching uh, people who are interested in showing, getting kids interested? kids, adults to uh, riding and or driving uh, to purchase or get into the show world. And right one way or another so we there's a there's a law a uh, bill that they're trying to amend to ban pads uh, from horses basically it's tennis shoes for horses yes. uh, have you uh, in other words these uh, Academy horses 60 to 80 year old person imagine them walking barefooted and, ha and having to do athletic uh, we would probably not have, I cannot, actually not probably, we would not have a program. These horses would not be able to do their job without support uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, whether they're older and just need extra support, sometimes they have feet that need special pads, not just your plain pad. Uh, but they would not be able to do their job comfortably um, and a lot of them would end up having to be put down. There wouldn't be a use for them and we wouldn't be able to continue introducing to our industry. They I'm, wouldn't be able to stand comfortably in a turnout in a field right. without the support right. that they're being Just like an older person absolutely. can't can't go barefooted. Right. Absolutely. They right. would be, you know, bedridden and, right. and worthless mentally and physically to right. themselves and to any people that may want to enjoy yeah. them. So um, Sarah, yeah. you're off of uh, several world world titles here. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And uh, your your horses were padded, right? Uh, yes, all, all of them all of them wear some sort of, of sneaker. Um, none of them extreme, none mm -hmm. of them over length, none of them pushing the envelope. Um, just a, a you know a, a plastic pad with a leather, and uh, all of them use uh, advanced push hoof packing that mm -hmm. is fairly expensive. And all of our owners gladly uh, pay the bill at the end of every six to eight weeks mm -hmm. to have these horses reset. And it is more or less a, a rubber packing, and it is a, a like you said before a tennis shoe, mm -hmm. um, and it's right. it's supportive and it keeps um, some horses aren't blessed with strong hoof walls it's in their pedigree they were born that way um, and without it they're, they're in other words their, their hooves crumble and they, they can't crumble. hold a shoe absolutely and this gives them a job a right absolutely and without it um, like I said about the school horses very very um, they wouldn't have a job they wouldn't have a job right. anywhere uh, doing anything um, if they were just in a plate that that foot would break apart it mm -hmm. is the pad in the, in the package that does it and I don't care whether their foot would be three inches long or, or four or five inches long right it's going to crumble because of the nature of who that horse is and how he was born. Um, and you guys are in New Hampshire. Yes, uh, yes. There's an uh, estimate how many academy barns that do the same thing you do. Oh, uh, uh, multiple. Like, like 20? 20, 20? 20, 20, 20 at least. And so uh, 20 more. times 20, 10, 15, 20 horses a piece at each barn. Absolutely. Yes. We would lose a way to, our, our show horses wouldn't have a, a, a useful life no. when they get older. No. Right. And so we're putting horses down at 15 years old when it's not necessary. Or, or they're going to find themselves to slaughter pens because people won't be able to yeah. afford them when they're stall ridden. Right. So uh, if there's a, people are trying and thinking that they're bettering the horse where really they're going to have slaughter pens full or horses being put down because right. they, can't, they can't support themselves. Big horses on little tiny hooks. Right. Richard, uh, you, um, you training for a long time. Um, you you have pads on other horses beyond uh, Parker Pleasure. Oh yeah, absolutely. We use pads on the Western horses. We did carriage horses. We used pads 
um, but just because of the nature that they're working. You're working them out in the field. You're working them wherever uh, they need that support, especially mm -hmm. like carriage horses. You would think a carriage horse going down the street, but again, you need some type of pad for the rocks, for the sticks, and something not to damage their soul. Mm -hmm. But another thing I wanted to bring up is with the breeding horses and uh, uh, horses that you get in from other breeders, genetics plays a very important part. So everybody thinks of pads, or if they see a wedge pad, and they go, oh my gosh, it's a terrible thing. Well, actually, we're helping genetics because some of these horses don't grow a heel, they're bad footed through natural selection. Just like pe some people have a bad hip or a bad knee. Or they're well, flat footed. Flat footed right. and all these other situations. That's why we use a normal flat pad or put a wedge in because one foot grows high in the heel, the other foot doesn't. So it's not always for like trying to get motion or get something out of a horse. It's correcting them on their genetic situation. 